What's going on team? Coach Cody here with Fit and 42 Kingwood. Today we're going to be talking about mental warfare. And what I mean by that is when you set goals for yourself in health and fitness and you start down this journey where you're you're seeing all sorts of progress, you're making tons of of gains, you are losing body fat, you are eating better than ever, you are creating all these amazing new habits that have set you up for success. Um, and then all of a sudden something happens. Like one day you wake up and the temptations are greater than they ever have been before. That donut that you see is just, you can't resist it. Or you feel as though you can't resist that donut or pizza or burgers, whatever it might be. You all of a sudden lose this desire to train. You don't have as much fire when you think about working out. And I think to some extent, this phenomenon happens to all of us. We start to either lose motivation, we start to get tired or busy, and we all live and lead busy lives. We work, we have families to take care of, we have responsibilities to ourselves and those that we love. I always understand that. But you have to be willing to be mentally strong. So of course, I'm not expecting any of you to ever be perfect with everything, but you have to be able to say no. Like I want to achieve my goals more than I want that pizza, or more than I want that donut, or more than I want that soda, or whatever it is. You want to make sure that most of the time, you're not giving in to those temptations, that you're sticking to your plan, that you're showing up to the gym. And that's, that's another thing is you're not always gonna feel like going to the gym and putting forth 100% effort. But you gotta make sure that you at least get your two feet through that front door. That you at least get to the gym to see your coaches to train. If you guys don't develop a habitual system, so de developing those habits to just do it regardless of how you feel, that is gonna be something that ultimately hurts you in the long run. Because every time you don't feel like it, you just won't do it. You won't have your protein shake. You won't uh, get enough rest. You'll stay up too late. You won't eat breakfast. You won't uh, go to the gym. You just will start not doing the things that you were doing before that caused you to see so much success. And so you need to develop a hard skin. You need to develop a tough mind. And you need to be able to, when you're feeling that way, identify like, okay, I know I'm not feeling like this today. I know that if I go and it's leg day at the gym, I am going to be like, I'm gonna feel so tired. And that's fine, but you still need to most of the time, nine times out of 10, go get that workout in. You still need to be strong enough mentally to choose your goals and your aspirations and things that you really want to achieve um, in, in fitness. You have to want those things more then you want to be lazy and more than you want to give up and more than you want to eat bad and more than you want to stay up late. You have to always prioritize the things that matter to you. So when I'm talking about mental warfare, you kind of have to go to war within your own self and make a decision, um, make a decision out loud to yourself that you're not going to let yourself down so that you can look yourself in the mirror later and be proud of yourself and not discouraged. So guys, I encourage you all to just start developing a mental toughness when it comes to setting goals and seeing those goals through. You guys will lead a more joyful life. You'll be proud of yourself when you've accomplished things. And once again, I'm not saying you can't have a burger, you can't go have pizza, you can't have something that you want. But when you start to feel like you don't feel like it, you really need to take a step back and choose to do those things anyway. All right, everybody. Hopefully you're having a wonderful, fantastic day. I can't wait to see you all in the gym and I'll see you all very soon. Take care.